Let's now take a look at sampling and slicing. Now one approach to working with samples is to take an existing song, maybe your own composition, and then slicing it up into individual elements and playing it back in the exact same order. The other approach could be to take that same song and then shuffle up the slices to discover new interesting patterns. Now you can do this with your own compositions or tracks written by anyone else. Just make sure to get the right permissions before you post it. So I have one of my tracks pre-sliced and ready to perform. It's been placed in a drum rack in Ableton Live and I can trigger any of the individual slices. Now on this controller, we only have 16 individual buttons, so I can only trigger 16 samples, but there is a bank change button to access additional samples. So in my first bank, I have 16, and the next bank, I have eight more samples. So let me run through the entire set just as is to play it back like the original track. <laughs> All right, so that was just playing the track as is. Let's now try something different by mixing up the slices. Here's a little example of that. So that was a quick demonstration of shuffling up an existing song to discover new ideas. Go ahead and try this out yourself and see what you come up with.